Dre Ball with DreAllDay.com. This is a question that sometimes players ask me. They ask me about trash talking. Should I talk trash during the game or should I not? What are the benefits or what are the negatives of talking trash during the game? Here's the thing. I made a video already about trash talking, how to deal with trash talking when somebody's talking trash to you. And the gist of that video is this. Just because somebody says something to you doesn't mean you have to say something back. Whether that's on a basketball court, whether that's in a library, whether that's at work, or anywhere else in the world. Just because somebody talks to you doesn't mean you got to talk back to them. And all you already know that. So you don't have to talk trash if somebody talks trash to you. Now the question here is, should you talk trash to other people? Like if you want to get into a certain mind state or you want to get a certain killer instinct, like people like to call it, does trash talking have anything to do with that? This is what you need to understand about trash talking. Trash talking is not just some random thing that everybody does at one point or another. Trash talking is an art. <laughs> trash talking is a skill. Now for me personally, I can talk about this in this video because trash talking is something that I like to do. I don't mind if somebody starts talking trash to me, I actually it, it excites me. Because if somebody starts talking to me, now you open the door for me to start talking to you. And now I'm just going to be relentless. Now I'm going to just be all on your back with the trash talking that I'm talking, especially as I continue to outplay, outperform you in the game. I don't, I can't recall a situation where I've been trash talking with somebody in the game and being outperformed. That just doesn't happen. My team's going to win and I'm going to outperform that person individually. Worst case will be even individually, my team's still going to win the game. So trash talking doesn't bother me. Now, all of you are not the same way. Not everybody's good at trash talking, so not everybody needs to be doing it. I know players who are great players, but they're not great trash talkers. So it's not for everybody to be doing. Trash talking is for people who are good at it. And if you don't know if you're good at it, then you are not good at it, so don't do it. The thing with trash talking is this. What happens when people start talking trash is that they start focusing so much on the person that they're doing the talking with that they lose focus on doing the things that's going to help their team win. This is something that Michael Jordan talked about. He would say, you know, I like talking trash because I could still talk trash and do what I'm doing to help my team. While the other guy, he gets so focused on going back and forth with me that he gets out of the focus of doing what his team needs him to do. And he it actually makes his team worse and it makes him worse because he's focusing on me instead of focusing on the game. So if you're one of those players who can't keep your focus and compartmentalize between the talk and doing what's necessary for your team, don't start trash talking. It's definitely not for everybody. And I can think of so many situations where I've been in a game playing against somebody and for whatever reason the talking begins and that player, they spend the whole rest of the game trying to talk to me while they're not doing anything to help their team. Or if they are, they, all they're doing is trying to go one-on-one -on -one and score on me to like shut me up, but it's not working. Then they end up not being any of any value to their team and they end up losing the game and not even playing well for themselves. Me personally, I I know how to deal with people talking. Like, there's nothing anybody can say to me that's going to get me off balance. As far as me being on the internet for so long, all the video I put out, all the stuff that I write, and being on all these social networks, I'm used to people talking to me, whether it be something positive or something negative. So this stuff can't throw me off. So anybody who says something to me in a game trash talking wise, there's nothing anybody can say to me that I haven't heard already, whether that be in a game, because I come from... Philly where I played in the street. I grew up playing ball in the street, so I already know all the trash talk. And I know the trash talk that leads to fist fights and guns being pulled out. So when somebody says something to me on the internet, I'm laughing. Somebody says something to me in the game and I know they ain't gonna do nothing, that's nothing to me. I can keep playing through that and I actually will take anything they say to me and use it against them. But again, this is my mentality. This is the way that I see things and again I'm a I'm pretty good with words. Like I have a skill when it comes to words, when it comes to putting words together when it comes to talking to other people when it comes to communicating I mean speaking is a, a profession of mine so when somebody starts talking to me I get happy because I know they're not going to be able to out talk me so are they going to be able to outplay me no because I know I put in the work in the gym so I'm not concerned at all I'm in my I'm at home somebody starts talking shit to me I'm at home because all right as far as playing ball I done put in a lot of work in this so I'm not worried about you beating me there as far as talking I ain't worried about you beating me there. Now, if I sense that this is a person where it might go further, I ain't afraid of that either. I ain't saying I'm a professional in taking something off the court, but I'm not afraid of it. Like I said, I come from an environment where that stuff happens on a normal basis, so I'm not afraid of that happening either. So what does that have to do with all of you out there? 
If you are not one of those people, if you're not a person who's pretty good with words, if you're not a person who can back up everything you say with skill, and you're a person and you're not a person who can go back and forth with somebody talking without getting too emotional about it cuz what happens a lot of times when I'm talking, when I'm playing with somebody, you probably seen some of my videos on YouTube where I'm playing somebody one on one and we talking trash and I'm kind of like it's fun for me, it's exciting for me, it's making my game better, but they kind of get off balance. You see guys quit in the middle of games while we talking trash to each other. You see guys talking, but they getting their ass bust the whole time while we playing and I'm doing all the talking and they start to get quiet. If you can't control your emotions while trash talking during a game, you don't need to be talking. So if somebody starts talking to you, just don't say nothing. Because here's the thing about trash talking. If I'm playing in a game with somebody and let's just say the majority of the time, I would never just start talking trash to somebody for no reason. I never do that. So if I'm playing in the game with you and you're not saying nothing, I'm not going to just start talking to you for nothing. I'm only going to start talking to you if you say something to me first. Now, if you open the door and say something to me, I don't care if you only say two words. Now, I'm going to just keep talking to you for the rest of the game because I'm going to get in your head and I'm going to take you completely out your game. And I'm going to destroy you both physically and mentally just for, just for starting it by talking to me. But if you don't say nothing, I'm not going to say nothing to you. But if I was the type of person who would just talk trash for no reason... And I said something to you and you didn't respond and I say something to you once or twice more and you don't respond at all like you don't even react to anything I say eventually I'm gonna stop talking no human being is gonna keep doing something if they're not getting a response we call that extinguishing a habit you extinguish a habit there's positive reinforcement there's negative reinforcement and then there's extinguishing positive reinforcement is when somebody does something and you give them a response that makes them feel good so if I start talking trash to you and you start shooting air balls, that's positive reinforcement for my trash talk because I know trash talking is going to make you play worse and that's what I want. That's positive. Negative reinforcement is if I start talking trash to you and you score on me 10 times in a row, that's not what I want. So that's a negative, re that's a negative response to what I did. That's negative reinforcement. Extinguishing is when is no reinforcement basically that means i start talking trash to you and your game pretty much stays exactly how it was before i started talking eventually i'm gonna just stop doing it because i see i'm not having any effect i'm not making you play better i'm not making you play worse and you're not responding to me when somebody starts talking to another person especially in a negative way and any type of negativity is coming out of them and they're not getting any type of response from you they're going to stop because the only reason someone starts with negative talk towards another person whether that be on the internet on a blog post comment or in a game is because they want a response any type of response if they don't get a response they're not going to keep doing it because that's what they're seeking they're going to go talk to somebody who's going to respond to them so you don't have to respond to anybody in closing work on your game oh and actually before i even get to the closing let me make sure i emphasize this one last time if you are not good at trash talking if you don't know if you're good you're not good so if you don't know that you're good at trash talking stay away it's not for you because you're going to start talking to the wrong person. You're going to get 40 dropped on you. They're going to destroy you physically. They're going to destroy you mentally. It's going to set your game back 10 years. <laughs> Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you follow all my top content up here. Follow me on all your favorite social networks right over here. And make sure you are subscribed to catch all the new content I put on on this channel every single day. Work on your game.